Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making a moss wall. I'm sure you've come across these, they're all over Etsy. They're really cool, you basically take preserved dried moss and hot glue it to a piece of wood to make wall decorations. So I'm going to be making two small ones to go on either side of a photo I have on the wall that looks a little plain right now. So I have everything I need, so let's get started. The first thing I did for this project was to enroll the help of my husband. I knew I would need some custom, essentially shadow boxes for this project. For the edges of the boxes, we used some spare trim we had in our garage, and we needed to cut that both in length and width to not stick out too far from the box. My husband went all out with the design of these boxes and decided to recreate how cabinet drawers are made. So currently he's cutting little slots into the wood and that will fit perfectly with the backing of the box. The last cut we needed to do was a 45 degree angle on all of the edge pieces so we could create mitered corners on the box. You can easily make this project without any special tools other than a handsaw if needed. However, using all of our fancy tools, we're able to have a shadow box that doesn't use any nails. We filled the grooves we had already created with wood glue and then clamped those pieces together until dried. The last thing I did before applying the moss was attaching a simple sawtooth hanger I picked up from the hardware store. I used a moss mat for two reasons. First, it allowed for even coverage across the back, and two, it allowed me to attach my succulents securely to the moss wall. I picked up my realistic looking succulents from a local garden center. So I won't have links to those in the description, but I will provide links for everything else that I used in this project. Once I knew where I wanted to place each succulent, I just cut into the moss mat, hot glued the back of the succulent down, waited till it dried, and that was it.
After I was finished adding all my succulents, I went back and added a second type of moss over the moss mat. I did this to add a lot of texture into the moss wall because I didn't want it to feel too one dimensional. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a really good time making this and I'm super pleased with how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and also ring the bell to be notified when my next video is released.